nice Oyo yogurt with granola. This is a generic person here, and here is a Raspberry Pi V3 B+. And I got this for my birthday, but that's not what we're here for today. It's this is what we're here for. Now, what the heck is this thing, first of all? It looks like some type of, I don't know, it just looks... Uh, I really can't describe it. What is it even? What is this thing? Well, it's actually meant to be a case for the Raspberry Pi version 3B+. Now, this is my first version. Um, I'll make revisions when necessary. So, yeah. So, let's actually get this keyboard out of the way. Alright, so... Okay, so we can compare these two cases, and you can see that this is a uh, more compact than this one. Um, you can see that they both look the same, and this is a bit um, it, it extends a bit further. Um, and here we, um, so here we have the, um, ports, the Ethernet port and the four USB ports, they go here. And on the side, you see that we got, um, power, the ports, um, here, this for ports necessary to go to here, same thing here. And yes, this is, um, I did, I also did use glue, probably not the best thing. Oh well, but well, it's the best I could do. We got the back for the SD card slot. And yep. So okay, so this case isn't um, it's not dry yet, so I need to let it dry. After that, um, I don't know. I may make it a bit shorter. Okay, so. Yeah, um, so this case, um, the reason why I made this case is because, well, it was one time I went on a field trip to the Japanese American National Museum and we made a box of, made of paper. In fact, let me go do that right now. I actually changed my mind, I'm not going to do that. Well, yeah, we just, um, what we had to do that, yeah, it was a... It was like an origami box. This was based on an origami box, except I just cut part of the box out. You can even see like where I drew. I even traced the Raspberry Pi. So, um, so I put the Raspberry Pi in the box in the corner. Then I cut it out, and it w it didn't look like this. It only had this side and this side, um, along with a bit of a little um, thing over here. And here, I glued it. Um, you can't see it now since I already glued it down. But probably the only thing recognizable from that box is like, and I don't think you guys can see it very well. Maybe over here, but right here is um where it was folded. That was where it was folded. Um, I could, I could have, I should have probably cut that off. I'm not too sure. No, I should, I actually, I shouldn't, I should have just left it. Well, actually, it's a good idea for, well, it was a good decision I made when I just left it. I actually glued it down here so it wouldn't easily come apart. And then I took another piece of paper and glued it here from this section. And then so it made this wall. And then I did the same thing with the same piece of paper. Yeah, with the same piece of paper. And I glued it here. And there was a bit of gap, a little gap here, so I made, let's actually, yeah, let's see, yeah, so, there was a bit of a gap here, and here's the outline, right here, and so I just got a piece of paper, I just, like, used scrap, scrap paper, um, but then my grandma threw, um, the rest of the box away, she, 
she thought I didn't need it, but I still did. But that's okay. So then, um, after the whole box shape was finished, I then um, cut out. I put the Raspberry Pi in and was able to trace where the ports were. I, and um, so then I cut, uh, made a hole here. We can turn this light off. So I made a hole here. We cut it out. And same th then I did the same with the side ports with the um, HDMI, what else, um, power and headphone jack. I did the same. And same thing with the SD card. So, yep. So there we go. And ta da! Now, this box wasn't. Whoops, I accidentally sat on my keyboard. Yeah, so this box it did it does it did it didn't look like oops it didn't look like um what it does now um it was a bit just like you can see different pieces of paper glued on and so so I decided to um cut a bit of paper out and then I just pasted them on and to like sort of cover up the blemishes um so I did it for the bottom um. For um, this side and this side. Now the bottom inside here. The inside I'm not going to do that much. Yeah, and I need to let this dry though. So that's that. Um, and yep. So that's pretty much it for the Raspberry Pi. Um... Now, what about the revisions? One more thing, actually. Um, first of all, I'd make this shorter. So, again, this my apology is going to make it shorter. Uh, it'll be made shorter. And then the back, um, as well as the back. Here, let's do a little comparison. Okay. So, the back is a bit um, long. So, it's a bit long. I purposely made it so that way there would be some extra space. But... During the process, there was also like, um, it sort of, I guess, got extended due to the gap. Um, so I'm probably going to cut it out, or, let's see. So, yeah, I, um, uh, okay, sorry for the bit of delay there. So, yeah, I probably need to, like, oops, cut all the way to there off, and then I will just redo the ending. So, yeah, this is the original, um, 1.0 case, V1.0. I'll be sure to also update the case as well um, over time, and I'll update you on the progress about the case. And yep, so that's it for this case today. So that's all for now. Okay, so, yep, yeah, well, see you guys later, and, yep, see you guys later, bye. Hey guys, this is Generic Person here, and before the video ends, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see future notifications about new videos, and if you would like to stay caught up with this channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and make sure you turn on all notifications. Other than that, Thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.